The Philippines has struggled economically over the years, which is surprising for the region, despite once surpassing South Korea in terms of resources and per capita income, it now lags behind. People have tried to explain this puzzle with reason like challenging geography, economic policy issues, and corruption, but none of these explanations are fully convincing. The Philippines' economic history is quite unlike some Latin American countries like Argentina, Mexico, and Peru. The political and economic journey of the Philippines is more similar to Latin American countries than those in Southeast Asia. This similarity is based on their shared histories and cultures, especially their common Spanish and Catholic colonial past. Even for many of those who have studied the economic history of the Philippines closely, it remains a mystery. When the Philippines became independent in 1946, it had the features of a modern democratic state, including well-established civil institutions, a reasonably democratic political system, a developed and somewhat independent legal system, and an active press. The country also had enough agricultural land for significant growth. Despite this positive start, the Philippines experienced slower economic growth compared to most other Asian countries in the second half of the 20th century, causing disappointment among Filipinos. In the 1950, except for Japan, Malaysia, Hong Kong, and Singapore, the Philippines had a higher income per capita than other nations in East and Southeast Asia. However, by the end of the 20th century, Philippine income per capita was only higher than that of Vietnam, Laos, Cambodia, and Myanmar, which had faced significant challenges in the previous years. The Philippine economy grew steadily from 1950 through the 1960s, but then unexpectedly worsened, missing out on the Asian economic boom from the late 1970s until the mid-1990s. Several factors were considered to explain the economic challenges. The Allen geography of the Philippines hindered land transport, but facilitated water transport. The tropical climate might have affected work ethic as working outdoors in the hot sun was more challenging. The country struggled to attract high levels of foreign investment compared to other Asian countries. Additionally, the Philippines had two unique historical influences that set it apart, being the only Spanish Catholic colony in Asia until 1898 and the subsequent long American occupation until 1946. These historical factors likely played a role in shaping the Philippines' economic history differently from other Asian nations. In 1902, the Americans introduced a significant land reform in the Philippines. They took over the lands of the Catholic friar orders, compensating them, which had long held significant portions of the country. This broke the traditional political power of the Catholic Church, in those areas, and the lands were then distributed to Filipinos. This move led to significant improvements in public health, transportation, infrastructure, and overall capacity of the state. The shift from Spanish to American rule brought a significant change in education. Spanish friars concerned that too much education might empower people had deliberately restricted educational opportunities. This included often refusing to teach native Filipinos the Spanish language. However, the Americans influenced by a Protestant belief that everyone, even the poorest, should be able to read and study the Bible, had a different approach. Their goal was for every Filipino to attend school, and they quickly started building and staffing public schools across the country. When it comes to things like tropical climates, extensive coastlines along the ocean, and other geographical aspects, the Philippines is most similar to Indonesia, Malaysia, and Thailand. These three countries also have comparable ethnic and linguistic histories from European influence. In the 19th century, all four nations surprisingly had similar economic paths. However, from 1900 until World War II, the Philippines grew faster than both Indonesia and Thailand, and at a pace similar to Malaysia the Philippines and Japan before World War II. Many people consider Japan to be different from other Asian nations. 
It's commonly believed that Japan was the first Asian country to achieve high economic development, setting itself apart from the rest of Asia early in the 20th century. During the 1920 and 1924, wages in the Philippines were higher than in Japan, but they were equal during 1935 and 1939. It suggested that Filipinos may have been spending money on consumption, while the Japanese focused on building battleships. Even in terms of total national income per capita, the gap in the first half of the 20th century was not large. From 1900 until World War II, Philippine income per capita remained steady at about 70% of the Japanese level. In 1950, Japan's income per capita was $1,921, and the Philippines was $1,070. However, Japan gradually started to surpass the Philippines over time. The Philippines and the rest of Asia in 1950, the Philippines had a higher income per capita than most East and Southeast Asian nations, except Malaysia, Hong Kong, and Singapore. However, over time, Taiwan surpassed the Philippines in 1962, followed by South Korea in 1967, Thailand in 1977, and Indonesia. There is no widely agreed upon explanation for the unexpectedly poor economic performance of the Philippines since 1950. In terms of physical and human capital in 1950, the Philippines succeeded many other Asian nations. While some attributes the economic struggles to weak national institutions and governance issues, this doesn't fully explain the situation. At the end of the 20th century, Weaknesses in the Philippine state were evident in uncollected taxes, uncontrolled crime, large bureaucracies, deforested areas, low teacher salaries, and high immigration rates. However, these explanations fall short because many other Asian nations also face institutional problems, governance failures, without experiencing the same economic challenges. Some suggest issues like poor governance, corruption, and political economy as culprits. The counter-argument is that these problems affect other Asian economies too. So the question remains, why have they consistently performed better than the Philippines economically? The Latin Philippines The Dean of the Lee Kuan Yew School of Public Policy at the National University of Singapore and a former Singaporean ambassador to the United Nations, points out a crucial difference between the economic outcomes in Latin America and Asia. He compares the performance of elites in East Asia with those in Latin America. He suggests that a significant factor lies in the cultural differences, particularly in the belief system. In East Asian societies influenced by Confucianism, there is a strong sense of obligation to society and a commitment to self-cultivation. However, he notes that these cultural traits were largely absent in the Philippines, where a Latin American mindset prevailed, characterized by a feudal mentality and a poor leadership, meaning that the elites in the Philippines focus more on their individual interests. They focus on enriching themselves rather than working collectively to strengthen the whole country. According to Yoshihara, a professor at Kyoto University in Japan, with a perspective rooted in Buddhist and Confucian heritage, religion plays a crucial role in the economic success of Asian nations. In Thailand, for example, villages typically include several hundred people, an elementary school, and a Buddhist temple. The Thai education system mandates the teaching of religion mainly as Buddhist moral education. These Buddhist elements contribute to maintaining the strength of traditional Thai values and institutions, fostering a sense of national identity. In contrast, the Philippines, the Roman Catholic Church is seen as an international organization centered in the West. The Philippines shows a clear sign of being heavily influenced by its 330 years of Spanish Catholic colonial history, similar to the colonial history of Latin America. While the United States was present for less than 50 years and brought changes to infrastructure and outward institutions, it appears to have less impact on the inner beliefs 
and attitudes of the Philippine population. Following Philippine independence in 1946, without American oversight, the country quickly showcased the significant political and economic role of religion and culture, fully embracing its Spanish Catholic heritage. Despite these challenges, the Philippines economy grew at a pace of 7.6% in 2022, the fastest rate of economic growth recorded by the Philippines since 1976. The size of the Philippines GDP measured in US dollars, nominal term is set to reach $1 trillion by 2030. This will make the Philippines one of the largest emerging markets in the Asia Pacific, as well as a leading emerging market globally. Average annual GDP per person has also risen dramatically over the past two decades, from below 1,000 USD per person in 2000 to 3,500 by 2022, and is projected to rise above 6,000 per person by 2030. Why do you think the Philippine economy has been lagging behind its neighbors?